Thank you so much. And thank you everyone for taking time to be with us today. We're excited to be here. We are going to talk about enabling the coders and clickers. We're going to focus on how IBM is enabling data science as a team sport, whether you are a coder or a clicker. We're going to do a lot of demos. When we say traditional organizations are not realizing the full effectiveness of their analytic investments, these are organizations that didn't grow up in the digital world, that are faced with transformation, much, much like IBM is as well. There's a lot of redundancy in what they're doing with analytics. There's a lot of redundancy in their architecture. They're just not getting the full ROI of the investments that they've made so far. Second is that open source and cloud has really changed the landscape for how we're looking at information architecture. But it's really undeniable that we can now move at the speed of the community and really push innovation much faster than ever before. And then lastly, we're very early in the process for both machine learning and AI adoption. But this is where IBM is leaning in. We're skating to where the puck will be in terms of how we're addressing the marketplace and where you'll hear a big focus from us in the next coming month. So how are we responding to what we see are these emerging trends with the market and our clients? We're making data simple, but it can't just be simple and easy to access, it also has to be trusted. We're bringing the analytics and that convenience of the cloud to where the data resides. We've really focused on not just the cloud side of our business, but the private cloud side of our business as well. And so trying to bring those economies of scale and convenience and consumability to all aspects of analytics, open source and machine learning are at the core of everything we do. Making the analytic tools accessible, whether you're on the cloud or on premise is another big initiative. And I'll talk about some of the things we're doing there. There's a lot of people talking about AI and ML out there. The reality is, and I know I'm preaching to the choir with this gang, <laughs> there is no AI without IA. Unless you have your foundation built and that data infrastructure is truly accessible and trusted, you're really not gonna get the advantage from the analytics. You really can't start to automate and make things smarter with machine learning and you can't build that foundation for artificial intelligence. We're going to market with a very key message that's very consumable, that's not overwhelming, and that makes sense to a lot of our clients. And that's based around the ability to collect data, organize data, and analyze data. And all of the capabilities that we're bringing to market underpinned by automation through machine learning and built on a foundation of open source reflect these three key capabilities that we think our clients need to do. We're driven by three key priorities. Simplifying those products and making them much more accessible and consumable. Automating by infusing data science and machine learning into everything we do. And then also enabling the analytics to come to the data wherever it is. It's not just in the cloud, it's not just on premise, but it is some combination of both. But I wanted to just give you a representation of how these core principles of simplify, automate, and hybrid are coming to light in those three areas that we talked about of where we focus our offerings. Internally, we have this project that Rob affectionately refers to as Download and Go, and this is what's been keeping me busy a lot this year. It really represents our digital transformation to create growth in our portfolio, primarily in our on-premise tools, those really powerful tools that you can get in the cloud, but could not get on your desktop to try and buy. So it's creating this try and buy experience for private cloud on premise that's simple and fast. And the mandate was, hey, I want you guys to build this experience that our clients can download something and get going in 15 minutes or less. Now, this represents a shift in our go to market. This opens up a whole new segment that we refer to as the digital consumer. So a brand new go to market for IBM, it's very exciting for us. And it really brings the power of these tools directly to the digital consumer better than ever before. And now we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into the data science side and talk about how we're actually enabling our vision of data science as a team sport, unifying those coders and clickers and helping progress the opportunities that clients have with data science and machine learning. So as you guys know, in 2011, we met this character Watson and uh, we all fell in love with his capabilities because what he could do was scan the entire web, he could read thousands of documents in seconds and he could do all of this by communicating through natural language. And so everybody was just completely fascinated with Watson. And I'm sure everybody thought, wouldn't it be great if I could have these superpowers on my own desktop? 
And so why we built this new community version, this new digital version of Plots and Explore, was to help people understand how to leverage this new capability and put it in the hands of more clients everywhere around the world. And so we've actually created a brand new community version that is available to try for free.